Title, Apple beats the beat, but investors feel a different beat. TL, DR, Apple pulled off a profit beat in Q3, but its forecast hinted at a sales dip in Q4, making stocks drop a tad. Despite the iPhone's underwhelming sales, services and China markets helped even out the balance. But, the big question, with a possible fourth consecutive sales slump in sight, where's Apple headed? Apple, the tech titan known for the iconic iPhone and its impressive lineup of gadgets, gave investors a bit of a roller coaster ride recently. After revealing that they surpassed Wall Street sales and profit expectations in the third fiscal quarter, you'd think everyone would be popping the champagne, right? Well, not so fast. Here's the sitch. Even with these promising numbers, Apple's crystal ball sees a potential continuation of the sales slump into the upcoming quarter. So, why did Apple's stocks decide to take a little 2% nosedive post-announcement? 1. The iPhone, it's complicated iPhone sales didn't really hit that sweet spot for investors. Apple execs are whispering promises of better iPhone sales in Q4, but the exact figures shrouded in mystery. 2. Android rivalry and the wait for Vision Pro. Apple's iPhone is locking horns with Android contenders in a market that's kinda saturated. And everyone's eager to see if Apple's new kiddo, the Vision Pro mixed reality headset, dropped in June, will shake things up. Still, it's like waiting for a sequel to your fave movie. We just haven't gotten our popcorn ready hands on it yet. 3. The silver lining, services and China. It wasn't all murky clouds for Apple. Their services segment, which includes gems like Apple TV+, and an 8% sales growth in China acted like the comforting friend who brings you ice cream after a breakup. By the numbers. Sales for Q3, down by 1.4% totaling $81.8 billion. Earnings per share, up by 5% to $1.26, beating those smarty pants analysts who predicted $81.69 billion and $1.19 per share. What's next? Apple's CFO, Luca Maestri, hinted that Q4 might echo the sales dip 5 from Thursday's announcement. This leaves us, and probably many of you, scratching our heads. If Apple's exceeding expectations yet facing potential sales drops, what's the bigger picture? And here's our wrap-up thought for you. With constant innovation and tech evolution, is Apple's sales slump just a brief hiccup or an indicator of shifting consumer priorities? Question mark or discuss.